oh here we go again yes it is Sunday it is a fun day it is time to improve your English and now we are live across the world wide web on YouTube hello good afternoon it is afternoon here in the UK just after two o'clock and yes it's time to do it all over again we are back baby hi everybody this is mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay i hope so are you happy on this sunday are you enjoying your weekend has it been a good one i really really hope so so it's mr duncan by the way that's me for those who are wondering who is that strange man in the red hat on the tv at the moment it's me I teach English on YouTube and I've been doing it for 13 years. I'm not joking. I was the first ever English English teacher on YouTube. Did you know that? You might not be aware, but I was the first ever English English teacher on YouTube all those years ago. And here I am still doing it. Louis says what a dull picture well okay I will try to brighten it for you is that is that better can you see me better now <laughs> I hope you can see me better now sometimes we use the word dull to mean boring so if you say dull it can mean boring or it can also mean that there isn't much light around so if you have a dull day it means there isn't much light but of course, something can also be very dull if we mean boring. So something that is boring can also be dull. So I hope <laughs> we've only been on for five minutes. I can't be dull already. That's impossible. <laughs> so hello to you. I hope your weekend is going well. I'm OK. Not too bad. Thank you very much. I was with you yesterday. Did you see me yesterday on YouTube? I was with you. And yes, you can catch me twice over the weekend. I am with you on Saturday and also on Sunday as well. You might be able to hear some strange sounds around me as well. I will talk about that in a moment because the weather is a little unsettled today. Apparently, we have storms on the way. So I'm hoping that all of my lovely equipment doesn't get blown away. So if I suddenly disappear, you will know why. But apparently there are storms on the way today around this area. So I have protected myself. I have all sorts of things covering my head just in case it starts to rain. If it gets too heavy, if it becomes too windy, then I might have to go into the house suddenly. So if my live stream suddenly disappears, you know why. Can I also mention something very exciting? If you press this button on your keyboard, you will get live captions. I'm not joking. There are now live captions on my live stream. So if you are lucky enough to have your big button, you can press this on your keyboard. And also, if you are watching on a mobile device, you can also get the live captions by going into the settings on the screen. So you can get live captions, live subtitles during my live streams, isn't it? that amazing i love technology so much also don't forget if you want to get in touch you can you can get in touch with my facebook page also email thank you very much for your email messages i might read some of them out next week i've had quite a few messages although i haven't had much time to read them yet because i've been busy and you can also donate if you wish you can make a small donation because everything i do i do for free so i don't charge you anything i don't ask for money as payment for my advice everything i do here on youtube is free 
but if you would like to make a donation to to help my English lessons continue forever and ever and ever wow I will try my best to do so so here we go then apparently we are going to have some big storms this afternoon here in the UK so that's the one thing I really want to mention I might I might actually have to go into the house if the rain falls too heavily but at the moment I am undercover outside in the garden right now it isn't too bad although it's very humid it's rather humid so now you have my details you should know what is going on here right now let's have a look at the live chat shall we because of course the live chat is why we are here you are all here to share your love of the English language so who was first on the live chat oh hello Julie apparently Julie you are first on the live chat and we all know what that means that means that you get a round of applause so congratulations Julie you are first on the live stream today on the live chat thank you very much for joining me blue thunder is here hello to you as well Alam Gia, hi everyone, Akinator. Hello Akinator. Nice to see you here with us today on the live chat. Also we have Maria. I'm saying hello to Maria. Martha is here. Hello Martha in Poland also. Tong Tui is here as well. And Connell. Hello Connell. Nice to see you back here again. Is your daughter still trying to make the same expressions on her face as the ones that I sometimes give during my live streams is she doing it maybe maybe not <laughs> I used to always pull my face if you pull your face it means you exaggerate your facial expression so that's what we mean when we say you pull a face my mother used to say, if you do that too often, your face will stick like it. And then you will be stuck with that strange face forever and ever. Also, Maruz, hello to you. Belarusia, nice to see you back here today. You were with us yesterday and today as well. Thanks for joining me again. Hello to, oh, Pedro. Pedro Belmont is here. We missed you yesterday. And also last week we didn't see you either I don't know where you were or what you were doing but I hope you had a good time hello also to Beatriz and also Palmyra is here again hello to you thanks for joining me today also Kamal hello Kamal where are you watching don't forget if it is your first time watching please let me know and I might I might just give you something special Mika is here watching in Japan also we have Oscar hello Oscar I am Oscar watching in Argentina a big hello to Argentina and everyone watching there thank you for joining me today hello also to Dorwell Dorwell Biet JC Geordie is here hi there thank you very much for your lovely comments by the way I do appreciate them Louis Louis Mendez is here as well watching in France Clader hello Clader good morning everyone is it morning where you are here in England at the moment it is afternoon it is now coming up to 13 minutes past two o'clock here in the UK apparently Alam Gia says I wasn't with you yesterday because of all the mosquitoes yes uh, mosquitoes can be a big pain in the neck sometimes literally especially if they bite you so mosquitoes yes they are very annoying fortunately where I live 
There aren't many mosquitoes. We don't get money, many mosquitoes around here. I must admit. For a moment there, I thought it was starting to rain. Oh dear. Hello to Quang. Hello to you as well. Thanks for joining me. Now it is 8 p.m. Well, now it is coming up to 8 15 p.m. in Vietnam. Hello to you and a big hi to everyone watching in Vietnam. I know I have a lot of viewers watching in Vietnam, so hi to you as well. Hey, Mr. Duncan, how are you? Thank you, Mahmood. I am okay today, not too bad. I had a very strange dream last night. Would you like to hear about my strange dream? I had a very strange dream where I was transported to another planet far, far away. But the planet was still developing. It was still in its early stages of developing. But for some reason, they could understand what I said. And for some strange reason, I don't know how, I could also understand what they were saying. But they were very interested to find out about where I came from. But the strange thing was, every time I gave them some new information, they would suddenly evolve their society and their culture would suddenly evolve very quickly. So not not over a hundred years, but just a few minutes. So every time I gave gave them some new information, they would actually evolve. So everything would suddenly change. It was a very strange dream. I wonder what the strangest dream is that you've had. But I've had some really strange dreams. I sometimes dream about celebrities. I sometimes dream that celebrities come round to my house and sometimes they they make a guest appearance on my live stream. Yes, I'm not joking. Sometimes I dream about doing my live streams. In fact, I can let you in on a secret here. Sometimes when I when I'm trying to work out what to do in my lessons, sometimes they come in my dreams. Sometimes I will have a dream about a certain subject or topic and then the next day I will write it down. I will write down the dream and then I will make it into a lesson or I will write a script for it based on the dream. I'm not joking. So sometimes my inspiration comes when I'm asleep. I'm sure there is some deep meaning to that. Hello, Mr. Duncan. This is Ezwa from India. Hello to you and a big hi to India. I know I have a lot of people watching in India. Is it still hot there? Is it still hot in India? I know over the past few weeks it's been very hot in India. Chris is here. I am enjoying the stream whilst indulging in a tasty cake. Now I feel very jealous of you. Chris is eating a cake at the moment. Indulge. I love that word. Indulge. If you indulge, it means you actively do something. You do something that gives you satisfaction. Something is very indulgent. You are doing something that gives you satisfaction or pleasure. Ooh. You are indulging in something you are doing something maybe you are eating some delicious cake you are indulging yourself you are doing something for your own pleasure Ooh! so i hope you are enjoying your cake chris valentin is here as well hello valentin hi everybody it's lovely to see people doing their job well, I try my best. Don't forget, I don't get paid for doing this. So I don't ask, ask for money. I know there are many English teachers on the Internet who always want to be paid for their advice. But I don't charge anything. But of course, if you would like to make a donation, I would be very happy indeed. Martha is here. Apparently, it is Lilia's birthday. Lilia, where are you, Lilia? I can't see your message on the live chat. 
Where are you, Lilia? <laughs> Apparently, someone is having a birthday today. Vin Raj says, Mr. Duncan, I am one of your greatest fans from Pakistan. I love your way of teaching. I love the way you teach. Thank you very much for that. Vij Vi Viraj. Thank you very much. Heba says, you are the best. Thanks again. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Irene is here as well, says bonjour. Bonjour to you. We had a lovely meal yesterday in town. <gasps> wow. After doing my live stream yesterday, I went into town with Mr. Steve and we had a lovely meal. I'm going to show you the meal because one or two people asked if I could explain what it is. So yesterday we went for a lovely meal in town. Mr. Steve and myself, we went and had something called cottage pie. Yes. Have you ever tried cottage pie? Cottage pie is delicious. It is a meal that has meat and vegetables and also potato. The potato is actually on top of the meat. And I will show you a picture of it right now. There it is. So there you can see. I hope you can see it clearly. Cottage pie. So that is a, a very popular delicacy. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a delicacy, but it's certainly a meal that is very popular. Cottage pie. Look at that. So on top, there is lots of potato and then underneath there is meat and also vegetables as well. It is absolutely delicious cottage pie. So now you know what it is. So if you ever get a chance to come to the UK, I suggest you go to the nearest restaurant or cafe and ask for cottage pie. It is a very popular dish here in the UK. So I hope you will enjoy that if you get the chance to try it. You could even make your own. Maybe you could go on the Internet and look up the recipe for cottage pie and you could make your own cottage pie and try it. If you do, could you please send a photograph of your cottage pie? So there is a little challenge for you. I am setting a challenge. Can you make a traditional English cottage pie we will see what happens thanks a lot for your company today i always appreciate it when you join me on the live stream because you are also giving up your time to watch me and if you are learning english as a second language you are in the best place don't forget you can have captions live it is very important i will mention it again because a lot of people still don't realize that you can watch the captions on the live stream. If you have this on your keyboard, the letter C, C for cat. Or can you think of another word that begins with C? <laughs> I can think of a couple, <laughs> but I can't use them here. So press this on your keyboard. And you can have live captions. It's incredible, but it's true. Back to the live chat. I don't want to appear as if I'm ignoring you. I don't want to do that. Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Jimmy from the Golden Notebook, apparently. Ooh, famous. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I have missed your live chat for a few weeks, but now I have a new computer. And I can watch you in the wider screen. Oh, apparently it is Percy Shelley's birthday today. Born on this day in 1792. He's almost as old as me. Almost. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duncan from Sukat. Hello, Sukat. Welcome back. And it's nice to see you here today. Northern Vietnam is where Duong Tron is writing to me now. Hello to you as well. 
Massimo says hello to everyone as well Jamelia hello Jamelia nice to see you back with us as well I haven't seen you for a while Saturino is here Wow it's great to see many of my regular viewers with me today and also some new viewers as well if it's your first time today tell me ciao mr. Duncan there is a storm in your place but here it is sunny and scorching scorching if something is scorching it means it is very hot so where you are at the moment the Sun is out and it's very hot it is scorching scorching hot luckily I live near the sea says Saturino there is nothing nicer than a sea breeze if you stand on the beach and you look out towards the sea and then you, you can feel you can feel that beautiful fresh breeze coming from the ocean there is nothing nicer than a sea breeze it is very refreshing Percy Shelley was the husband of Mary Shelley that is true and she was the authoress of Frankenstein a lot of people think that Frankenstein was the monster but Frankenstein was actually the scientist who creates the monster dr. Frankenstein <laughs> Heba says you're the best mr. Duncan thank you very much that's very kind of you hi mr. Duncan I like your English and also your speaking style that's very kind of you to say thank you once again lots of beautiful comments today hello mr. Duncan from Spain the one thing those glasses you wear now make you look more youthful oh thank you very much it's very strange that you should mention being young because it it is my birthday in eight days from now the 12th of August it is my birthday oh dear so yes I am getting older and the other night I was playing with an app on my friend's phone have you played this it is something called face app face app and apparently you take your photograph and it will then show you what you will look like when you are old Ugh. So I thought I would try that today. So here we go. I'm going to now take a photograph of myself and I'm going to show you what I will look like when I am an old man. Here we go. So this is what I will look like in the future. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh dear. I don't like the look of that. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. I look like Woody Allen <laughs> that makes me look like Woody Allen what 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 do you mean that is Woody Allen who who did this who I, I think mr. Steve has done this mr. Steve what have you done that is not me in the future that's Woody Allen for goodness sake I blame mr. Steve for that I think that's it that's his fault Steve if you're watching I'm going to strangle you later that is not me <laughs> that is Woody Allen <laughs> how dare you how could you do that to me Steve <laughs> of all the people to choose you chose Woody Allen you could have chose someone else for goodness sake hi Mr. Duncan changing the subject Constantin says hi Mr. Duncan I am watching your lessons from Russia a big privet to you so can I send some love from England so to Russia with love did you see what I did there I hope so Akinator is watching oh no not watching in Iraq sorry Akinator is now saying hello to someone in Iraq hello Mr. Duncan I am from Vietnam 
Louis Mendez says, Mr. Duncan, yesterday you said that the pigeons were putting you off, but I thought you were hampering them from building their nests. Well, can I say that yesterday afternoon after I finished my live stream, I went into the garden behind me and there were pigeons everywhere. So they are building their nests. So I can assure you that I am not disturbing the pigeons for those who are worried. There are, there are lots of trees in my garden, lots of places for the pigeons to to find some some material for their nests. So don't worry too much about that. I am not disturbing the pigeons. But yes, I know what you mean. Sometimes it's very easy to disturb nature. Look at all the things. Look at all the things that mankind is doing at the moment. Lots of strange things happening around the world as mankind interferes with nature. So, yes. A very topical subject Susan says hello again I think you were here yesterday Susan Susan or Sausan you were here yesterday weren't you I'm sure I saw you yesterday Anna says I have given my thumbs up right now oh thank you very much if you would like to give me a thumbs up underneath my video there you go you can do that give me one of those not one of those one of those not one of those hello also to Alperen hello Alperen I am at the gym watching you right now and everybody is staring at me so Alperen at the moment is doing some exercises uh, let's get physical physical I want to get physical let's get into physical so Alperen at the moment is actually working out at the gym and also watching me at the same time so not only are you exercising your body you are also exercising your English listening pretty good I like it I have some strange dreams sometimes. I had a very weird dream last night. Very weird indeed. Mr. Duncan, are you sure that you didn't get abducted by aliens? Definitely not. I woke up this morning in bed. I was a little hot, a little sticky. But that's normal. That happens every morning. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Hello from fox games hello fox games nice to see you here today i am glad to see you don't forget if it is your first time here tell me and i will give you something lovely english is the key to open the gate to a new world i love your culture from china hello to china hello a big ni hao to you and also da Hao to everyone watching in China as Waran apparently it has started raining in the western part of India could you please display some fireworks as I have joined for the first time live and I feel great well yes you can have some fireworks welcome as Rowan to my live chat kaboom and there you can see some live fireworks oh yes welcome <sighs> isn't it nice to celebrate even if the thing you are celebrating may only be important to one person it's still fun to celebrate I will be celebrating my birthday in a few days from now I will be another year older oh dear so I'm glad to hear that the rain is now falling in India because it's been very hot there recently 
hello also to maria and also to chris in my country the philippines we have empanada it's also called deep fried pie i'm very intrigued by your deep fried pie i like the sound of that does it have meat and vegetables inside oh nice cottage pie looks gorgeous i think so here it is again i wish i could eat this right now unfortunately it is made of paper so i can't hello also to sylvia hello sylvia there is a song all about you sylvia's mother said sylvia's not here she's gone to the shops to buy some bananas a man cat welcome back a man cat welcome mr duncan what a great background i like it yes i'm live in the garden again although the weather today is very unsettled talking of weather today we are going to take a look at some idioms and some phrases connected to the weather because they have forecast a storm right here today so whilst i'm here with you we might have a big storm so we will have to wait and see what will happen i don't know tai vu is here watching in vietnam the flies are biting me the flies are biting me I don't like being bitten by the flies we have the same kind of meal in Japan but here we call it potato gratin or gratin that sounds French that actually sounds like it might be French but yes I know what you mean there is a similar meal in fact I think cottage pie is made all around the world it just happens that here we call it cottage pie i think that's what what it is i'm just going to close my camera slightly because now the sun has come out welcome to the sun hello sun today is my birthday says tony three is it really how old are you today <laughs> Where is Lilia? Is, is Lilia here? Because I want to find out if Lilia is here. There is someone called Lilia on the live stream, and apparently it is her birthday today. Can you please? Vin Raj says, I almost watch all your lessons on YouTube. I always advise my friends who want to improve their English to watch Mr. Duncan. Those who have paid to to heed my advice have improved their english well i'm very pleased to hear that thank you very much don't forget everything i do is free and i suppose it's a good opportunity to mention that you can catch me at the weekend on saturday and sunday and also there is a new english lesson can you see right there a new english lesson every wednesday there it is my full English lesson every Wednesday so I hope you will look out for that it is live English and now we will click up to date with the live chat mr. Duncan what have you planned for your birthday that is a good question we we are going to go away we will go away for maybe a day or two to celebrate my birthday but we haven't really planned anything yet because to be honest with you i don't like talking about my birthday it makes me feel very strange sometimes the older you get the less you want to talk about your birthday trust me it will happen to you one day and then you will know exactly what I mean hi mr. Duncan do you remember me from Vietnam to one fam I don't remember you because I have lots of people watching unfortunately Louis 
Louis Mendez asks is mr. Steve's mum driving her new car yes she is she is having a great time in her new car mr. Duncan is it a formal way to use the short firm form of helping verbs in English mr. Duncan is it formal way to use the short forms of helping verbs in English I'm not quite sure what you mean by that I think maybe you mean shortening the words or maybe using informal words I'm not sure hello mr. Duncan I live in Brazil and I like to see your videos and lessons Pedro is going I see Pedro is going I wonder where Pedro is off to hmm interesting have a great time Pedro whatever you are doing enjoy it and I will see you again soon today we are talking about words connected to weather <laughs> I've got spiders crawling over me now it's little tiny spiders crawling all over my body <laughs> I'm covered in insects covered in insects oh by the way talking of insects yesterday I was in the garden would you like to see a beautiful shot that I filmed yesterday in the garden I actually filmed a beautiful butterfly would you like to see it now so this is a video clip that I filmed on my phone yesterday can you see there is a butterfly fluttering in my garden and it is feeding from the pollen that is on the this is a buddleia so the, the the purple flower you can see there is called buddleia and the, the butterfly is called a peacock butterfly so that particular type of butterfly is called peacock butterfly because its wings look very similar to a peacock so that's where it gets its name from come on mr. butterfly don't be shy turn around so we can see you that's better come on don't be shy show us your beautiful wings there they are isn't that beautiful so yesterday there were lots of butterflies in the garden so I thought I would record one of them on my mobile phone and there it is for you now so lots of butterflies around at the moment and the particular plant that that butterfly is feeding from is called buddleia buddleia it is a very common type of plant here in the UK and it has a very strong scent there are purple buddleias and also white buddleias and I think also there might be some also I want to say red or yellow buddleia I think so so there you can see yesterday in my garden a beautiful butterfly fluttering around I hope you enjoyed that I've noticed recently that I don't show much nature anymore I used to show a lot of nature on my live streams but recently I haven't showed many many video clips of nature so there you can see a beautiful butterfly I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> isn't that lovely very nice something has gone wrong here <laughs> oh that's better <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to happen there that was very I don't know what happened there we had a technical hitch I think maybe the rain is getting getting into my my equipment what color do you like the most I do like purple I must admit I do like the look of purple it is very nice so let's have a look at some words now I I have a feeling that the rain is on the way I can feel 
The rain is starting to fall. Dear me. Apparently, Mr. Duncan, we can hear a pigeon. There are some pigeons. So here is a word. And the word is storm storm so there is a word i'm going to show you right now and there are some uses of this particular word first of all storm can mean a severe disruptive event or severe disruptive weather so a severe disruptive weather pattern or an occurrence of disruptive weather can be described as a storm so at the moment over my head there is a storm approaching a severe disruptive weather occurrence is a storm <laughs> the flies are attacking me and also a strong debate or outrage so if people are debating or talking about a certain subject maybe something controversial maybe something that is causing a lot of outrage we can describe that also as a storm storm a strong debate or outrage over a certain topic can be described as storm a storm over a certain subject a sudden attack normally involving the military so if we have a sudden attack quite often use involving the military a sudden attack can be described as storm so as a verb you storm the building so the army stormed the building to storm means to suddenly attack normally if it's a large group of people attacking one place you might also use the word storm they storm the building they stormed the apartment to move angrily so if you are angry about something you might suddenly move you might walk out of the room we can say that you storm out of the room so once more we are using this as a verb so to move angrily to storm out of the room you move angrily and we also have some expressions as well would you like to hear some expressions We have the calm before the storm. There you can see there another expression. I like to show you the idioms and expressions on my live English stream. So calm before the storm. I suppose you could say that the period of time that I'm having now. So this period of time now could be described as the calm before the storm. Can you hear the magpie? There is a magpie saying hello. So calm before the storm as an idiom means the quiet period before everything becomes chaotic. So the quiet time before the chaos can be described as the calm before the storm. And also we have storm in a teacup storm in a teacup when we say storm in a teacup what we actually mean is a person who is making a fuss over a very small thing so maybe a problem or a situation that is being created by something very trivial or minor something small insignificant people are making a fuss over something very small and unimportant we can say that it is a storm in a teacup storm in a teacup i love that expression 
very interesting. A lot of people like to make a storm in a teacup. They like to cause lots of problems over something that is not important. I think so. <laughs> Tawan says, I usually storm out of the room when my emotions are out of control. Yes, we often do that. So it is a kind of passive aggressive behavior. So if someone makes you angry, you might want to show your anger by storming out of the room. You walk out angrily. You storm out of the room. That's great. Belarusia says, I like it when you include the new words in sentences. Well, yesterday I got so angry with Mr. Steve that I stormed out of the room. And today I'm also angry with Mr. Steve. Do you know why? Because I was supposed to show you my face app picture. So this is supposed to be the picture of me when I'm old. But Mr. Steve, I think Mr. Steve has changed the photograph because now it looks like this. <laughs> That's not me. That's not me as an old man. That's Woody Allen. <laughs> what are you doing, Steve? Why did you do that to me? It's not very nice. I'm going to get him later. I'm going to get Mr. Steve. I am. Hello from Kandakar or Kandakur. Nice to see you here. Where are you today? Where are you watching? Please let me know. This is live English live from England on a Sunday afternoon. Ten minutes away from three o'clock. I usually storm out of the room when I'm angry. Me too. Apparently in Brazil they say storm in a cup of water. So a storm in a cup of a, a cup of water is very similar to storm in a teacup. I'm very aware that the weather is starting to change around me. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't rain or else I'm in trouble. Hello also to Beatriz who says we also say the calm after the storm. Yes, there is also the period of time after the storm. So you can have the calm after the storm when all of the problems and all of the chaos has stopped. So you can have calm before the storm. So before the chaos and also you can have the calm after the storm, which is the peaceful period after the chaos. So you can have that before or after. Thank you very much. Heba. Hello, Heba. How are you, Mr. Duncan? I am super duper. I'm having a great weekend. We went out for a lovely Chinese meal on Friday night. Yesterday we had lovely cottage pie in town and today can you guess what we're having to eat today do you know what we're having can you guess can you guess what mr steve is going to cook for me tonight go on see if you can guess <laughs> the storm is stirring in my country says chris apparently if something is stirring it is starting to happen something is stirring 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 it is beginning the things are starting to happen things are stirring i like that good day mr duncan glad to see you i know you have a good voice please sing something maybe about the storm i i can't think of any songs that have storm I don't know any songs that have storm I can't think of any there are lots of songs about sunshine but I can't think of any songs that have storm maybe you know
maybe you know one it is about to drizzle right yes I think we are going to get some rain maybe just a little rain or maybe a lot of rain I'm not sure yet so let's have a look at some more words to do with storm shall we some more words connected to the word storm these are some more idioms for you I know you like your idioms on a Sunday so here are some more kick up a storm kick up a storm if you kick up a storm it means you create a fuss you create a situation by making a fuss you fuss you become angry about something you create an angry situation can you see it on the screen kick up a storm so if you kick up a storm it means you create trouble you start a problem by making a fuss you kick up a storm ah look we could say that right now a storm is brewing that means that a storm is on the way so we can use that also as an idiom to mean that trouble is just around the corner so if trouble is coming towards you if there is a difficult situation that you might have to face we can say that a storm is brewing there is trouble just around the corner a difficult situation is coming your way a storm is brewing and then also we can use another use of the word storm there you can see any port in a storm this is an interesting phrase and this means that during a difficult situation any any way of solving the problem any way of making the problem go away will do whatever it is so sometimes you have no choice over over how to solve a situation or something bad so if something bad is happening sometimes you have no choice over how to solve the problem so we say that any port any port in a storm will do that means whatever whatever we can do to make this problem go away whatever it is however we can avert the situation however we can rescue ourselves whatever it takes even if it's something unpleasant even if you have to do something unpleasant to make the problem go away we can say any port in a storm will do good day mr duncan good day to you as well glad to see you and i know you have a lovely voice thank you very much once again i think i read that message didn't i louis says storm in a teacup or storm in a cup of tea most times people who make a storm in a teacup aren't happy with themselves yes sometimes people will create a fuss so they will get attention I think so I think that is a very good point Louis yes you are right so sometimes people will create a fuss or they will create a problem just to get attention I think you're right yes very good I would like to make cakes I would very much like to send you a chocolate cake on the 12th of August for your birthday if you can get a cake to my house I will not complain <laughs> I will not complain mr. Duncan it is very hazy here in Malaysia because of the Indonesian fire hello Neo now I remember many years ago when I was in Malaysia because I used to visit Malaysia a lot and there were situations where there were forest fires taking place nearby and all of the smoke was going over the peninsula so the Malaysia Pen Peninsula was all covered 
shrouded with smoke so I remember the haze from many many years ago when I used to go to Penang in Malaysia so yes I, I know what you mean hello Twan my little brother often kicks up a storm by playing tricks with everyone sometimes they become very aggravated yes I think children I think children sometimes can create a lot of problems yes but the reason why they do it is because they don't know any better they are only young they still have a lot of living to do a lot of things to learn about this thing called life hello mr duncan i've just joined you i hope you are fine hello sassy sassy welcome welcome to my live chat and here is another one another idiom connected to storm we can weather the storm if you weather the storm it means you stick with it you fight with the storm so you endure the storm you weather the storm you go through the difficult situation so this particular sentence can be used as an idiom so if you weather the storm it means you go through the bad situation you suffer the difficulty you weather the storm you try to survive the difficult situation I must say there are some rather interesting idioms today Beatrice says a person will sometimes make a mountain from a grain of sand yes that is very similar to storm in a teacup I think you're right there yes it is a very similar word or phrase so yeah a person might make a fuss over nothing they might make a big fuss over nothing <laughs> I'm being attacked by a wasp it's buzzing around me please don't sting me oh dear it's back <laughs> there is one thing about doing a live stream outside there is always something happening please don't provoke Malaysian this time didn't I don't please don't provoke prov provoking oh I think Tias is on about the the fires across Malaysia the the smoke that is spreading across Malaysia yes well this happens all around the world do you remember a few years ago there was a huge volcano that erupted in Iceland and all of the vapor all of the ash came right over Europe and it was so bad that the the airplanes couldn't take off so all of the airplanes across Europe couldn't take off because of the the volcanic ash that was spreading from Iceland so this was a huge disaster that happened I think about 10 years ago do you remember that do you remember when there was a huge volcanic eruption in Iceland and it caused a lot of problems it really did we are talking about storms now we are going to take a look at some weather idioms ding weather idioms would you like to see some weather idioms <laughs> I hope so because well because I have some for you now hmm we can also say a storm in a glass of water I think so so just so I am clear I am not saying anything is bad or anything is good so sometimes things happen and sometimes they don't I am not taking sides that's all I have to say do you like making a live stream in the rain it would be immensely funny and sweet thank you Toan I'm not sure about that I don't think I want to stand in the rain and do a live stream I'm not a big fan of rain to be honest I really don't like it very much at all I had a very strange dream last night have you ever had any strange dreams about things 
I was on another planet last night a lot of people say that I'm always on another planet yes I remember the ash reached South Italy as well thank you Sassy Sassy Lara yes do you remember there was a huge volcanic eruption in Iceland and it and it went everywhere so all of this volcanic ash spread through the sky and it went all across Europe and it was so bad that the planes couldn't take off I remember it well as if it was yesterday as if it was yesterday do you consider getting in the house now I'm not going in the house yet but I will be going soon in around about 10 minutes I will be going so if you want to say something say it now oh we have another weather idiom here we go we're talking about storms and weather so here is a weather idiom under the weather if you are under the weather if a person is under the weather that means they are feeling ill or unwell they are not well they feel sick maybe they have a fever maybe they are feeling unwell and they don't know why they are feeling under the weather oh I'm sorry I can't come to work today I'm feeling under the weather I'm feeling under the weather I don't feel very well I'm feeling under the weather today <laughs> hmm. another one snowed under oh if you are snowed under it means you have too much to deal with you have a lot of things that you must do a lot of jobs that you have to carry out or do so if you are snowed under it means you have too much work to do you can't cope you are snowed under another one to have a dry spell so we can use this as an idiom if you have a dry spell it means you have a period of inactivity things are not happening maybe you have a business and maybe the business is not doing very well you can say that you are having a dry spell it means business is not going very well there is not much activity not much is happening we are having a dry spell that's a great idiom <laughs> I, I know in my life I have had lots of dry spells lots save something for a rainy day if you save something for a rainy day what does it mean you save something for a rainy day that means you keep something back for emergencies so maybe you keep some money safe maybe in a bank account or somewhere safe so you save your money you keep your money safe for a rainy day in case things get bad so you save some money or maybe you put something aside for a rainy day so when things get difficult or if you have a problem we can say that that is a rainy day a situation where things go wrong I used to be snowed under with homework when I was at school hmm I know the feeling Belarusia says I was told that when you have a dream what is important is the feeling you had during the dream and you should ask yourself when you felt that feeling or whether you felt that feeling the day before so yes sometimes dreams are reactions to something that's already happened or occurred so maybe something happens the day before and then when you go to bed your dream 
is about that one thing but I must admit I've never been to another planet oh can you see behind me who, who is that behind me <laughs> did you see that behind me that was mr. Steve did you see mr. Steve then behind me I just saw mr. Steve oh no wait this can't be happening everybody we're having an invasion we're being invaded it's mr. Steve everyone can you see him can you see mr. Steve behind me mr. Steve mr. Duncan hello hello how are you <laughs> I'm very and how are you I'm very surprised to see mr. Steve here <laughs> Well, Mr. Duncan, I was in the garden. I heard all this talking mm. and I thought that sounds like Mr. Duncan live on air. He's banned me from the live streams. This is true. So I thought maybe if I just walk by, I might get invited on. It's Mr. Steve. Can Look, I just I've got my gardening gloves on? You've got your gloves. These gloves are amazing. Look at that. They're, they're, they protect Mr. Steve's delicate hands because he has very de delicate hands like a lady. I could commit all sorts of crimes with these, Mr. Duncan, and then burn them and there would be no evidence. Oh, well, <laughs> well, there is evidence now because you've just said it. <laughs> We're live. There is evidence yeah. now. So, so if Mr. Steve kills me later, you have this as evidence. OK, so please send this video to the police because Mr. Steve might strangle me later. I want to strangle you. Do you know why? Because I, I think Mr. Steve has done something to my live stream because for some reason, can I, can I just show you? Well, I was going to show you the face app, which makes me look old, but apparently, look, that's not me. Can you see Steve on the screen there? That looks like, that looks like an actor. Yes. Uh, but did, did you do that? Did, no. I think Mr. Steve did that. I've done nothing to that, Mr. Duncan. Yes, you. we went to see a friend, didn't we? Yes, I, I talked about this yesterday. Yeah. There is this great app on your phone and you can take a picture of yourself and it makes you old. Well, it's frightening. Yes. Cool. And, uh, <laughs> well, Mr. Duncan was too scared to have his photograph taken and to... Uh, fast forward 30 years to see what he looks like i don't want to know i know i didn't want to know you've got all sorts of insects crawling across your lens mr don't, duncan don't worry about it it must be all these hideous thunderbugs that we've been having and crawling anyway, all over us try try to stick to one subject <laughs> what subject do you want me to stick to mr we're, duncan we were just talking about the face app so face so app. mr steve took a picture can i just say that that old mr steve looks exactly like his dad i was really surprised i know it was it was actually quite scary i don't know how it works i can't believe it it, it actually did look like mr steve's dad but i mean especially with the white beard so so this is a great application has anyone used it have you used it face app it makes you look like an old person but i think mr steve mr steve has made me look what what Mr. Steve has made me look like Woody Allen. <laughs> that's that's not a very good. That it's Steve did that. You're aging all on your own. You don't need my help, Mr. Duncan. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're all aging, aren't we? It's quite sad. But this app, of course, if you use it, I think it adds about thirty years on. So if you're twenty, yes, and you and you use the app, you only look about fifty. Yes. Whereas if you're our age, it makes you look. Well, let's just say well, close to the end. Well, the younger you are, the better it looks. So because we are old people and I'm going to be another year older in eight days from now on the 12th of August, it is my birthday. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've got to just remember, I've got to get Mr. Duncan a present. Shh, don't say anything. I'm going to get him a surprise. Shall I tell you what I'm going to get him? <laughs> no, I better not because he's right here. <gasps> well, it, Mr. Duncan. It, it won't be a surprise then, will it? No, it won't. But it, uh, we could reveal it. No, we can't reveal it live on air because you'll be live on Sunday and your birthday is on the Monday. Yes. Yes. Well, what 
presents and gifts are all your viewers going to get for you? That's what I want to know. I, don't, I might get some surprise donations. Who oh. knows? Not from me, you won't. OK, that's good. Actually, I've already got Mr Duncan's present. Anyway, haven't you got some work to do? Oh, I see. Kicking me off already. Any comments, people welcoming well, me back, are they? You know, saying... Yes. Where's Mr. Steve been and how awful the lessons have been without me? Well, as you know, I had to sack Mr. Steve, unfortunately. He was getting too carried away. He was becoming too political. So I had to kick you off, didn't I? Well, I did say to you, Mr. Duncan, I don't think your lessons are really giving enough English teaching to your viewers. It's just rambling, us two rambling. Well, that's what I'm trying okay. to do now. Well, you're rambling now. Oh, so I'm actually doing this, you see. So some weather idioms today. I used to do the idioms. I used to do the idioms, Mr. Duncan. Well, you don't do them anymore. I know. So whether so under the weather. So if you are under the weather, you don't feel very well. Oh. Snowed under, you have too much work. And then we can also say, oh, to be on cloud nine. If you on if you are on cloud nine, Mr. Steve, what does that mean? That means you you feel really good. You're very optimistic. You're very happy. Uh, something has gone very well, and you just feel absolutely fantastic. Mm. And we say, "I feel on cloud nine. Cloud Actually, I usually feel under the weather. <laughs> That's a very common thing for me to say. I don't feel. I'm always saying that. Aren't I? I don't feel very well. Under the weather gives the impression, doesn't it, that. Uh, there's a lot of storms, a lot of fog, rain, well, all pressing down on your on your emotions and making you feel very low. Yes, if you if you if you are under the weather, it just means you you feel unwell and sick. Yes, so, so you could have a cold coming. There it is. You might not know what, quite what's wrong because you know those a couple of days or a day before you, the the cold okay. comes out, you sort of start to feel oh I don't feel quite right I don't feel 100% okay. I feel under the weather so you're just going on now about one thing for ages and ages the thing that you just accused me of doing is the thing that Steve is doing I like to give many different ways of explaining the same phrase so that people can understand well don't <laughs> here's another back one to the gardening so so to be on cloud nine there it is can you see it to be on cloud nine means to be very very happy okay steve you are now going to carry on because i think we've got some rain coming sounds like mr duncan is kicking me off i'm not well, it was nice to see you all even though albeit very briefly albeit is that a word you've explained before albeit very briefly i will now fly away and clear up all the weeds yes. that i have dug up in the garden faster yes Ta-ta for now. OK, Steve is going now. See you later, Steve. Bye. That's Steve. You might see Steve behind me. <laughs> no, please don't hit me with the broom. So there is Steve. He's going now. Bye, Steve. <laughs> so Steve is going. We have some more phrases and then I will be going as well. So here's another weather idiom. Oh, I like this one. I wish Steve was still here. I would use this for Mr. Steve because sometimes Mr. Steve has a face like thunder. If you have a face like thunder, it means the expression on your face is angry. You have an angry expression on your face. You have an angry expression on your face. You have a face like thunder thunder mr steve was so unhappy yesterday when i saw him he had a face like thunder <laughs> i felt as if i was on cloud nine when i saw your live stream thank you very much isn't that kind thank you very much something else now connected to weather something is <laughs> i'm being attacked by a wasp um, go away uh, the wasp keeps attacking me i think it wants to sting me so here's another one can you see it if something is oh there it is lightning fast there it is lightning fast 
if something is lightning fast it means it goes very quickly something is very fast it moves quickly we can describe a car a car going by very fast we can say that it went by lightning fast this car is lightning fast it goes very quickly hello Anna nice to see you here Anna says I miss mr. Steve so much <laughs> Pappy is here listening to different voices is the best way to learn a language I agree with you well maybe if mr. Steve behaves himself maybe if he is a good boy I might let him come back sometimes I missed mr. Steve so much I am happy to see him again so mr. Steve is now in the garden doing some chores here is another weather idiom to chase rainbows if you chase rainbows what does that mean if you chase rainbows it means that you follow your dreams or fantasies so if you chase rainbows it means you are chasing your dreams or your fantasies most people believe that chasing rainbows is not a good thing they think you are wasting your time you are trying to do something that you will never able be able to do so chasing rainbows means to chase something that you cannot do you want to do it but it's difficult it's so far away it is out of your reach but you still want to do it you are chasing rainbows can you say that your lessons go lightning fast yes you can because the time seems to go by very quickly so yes I suppose so I think that's it I think we will go in a moment because the rain it's starting to rain we can hear children <laughs> we, this, there is a wasp that keeps landing on my face we can hear children yes there are some children nearby behind me in one of the gardens they are playing football yes the, the, the live stream seems to go by lightning fast because the time is nearly up it is nearly time to say goodbye yes you are right Nico is here hello Nico nice to see you here on the live stream <laughs> welcome to mr. Duncan gets attacked by wasps they keep flying around my face yes time flies when you are having fun I think so hello Nico it is almost time to go we can also have our head in the clouds if you have your head in the clouds it is very similar to chasing rainbows so you chase rainbows you have your head in the clouds you are always daydreaming about the things you want to do but the things you want to do might be unlikely they might be too difficult or might more maybe there are they are things that are unreachable you have your head in the clouds you are chasing rainbows hello from Minnesota Paul Joseph hello Paul Joseph welcome to to my English chat in the garden and at the moment I'm being attacked by all sorts of insects <laughs> they keep biting me it's not very easy TS we have a very funny habit here when we say attacked by wasps when they say bitter bitter or bitten I suppose a wasp can bite you and also a wasp can sting you we normally say sting 
Hello, Susan. Susan is saying goodbye. Yes, I will be going soon. We've had a very busy hour and a half. One and a half hours I was on today. By the way, if you want to see the details, here they are. Facebook, email, and also for your donations, you can also send them to that address on the screen right now. And my live lessons are every Saturday, 12 midday UK time, Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time. And don't forget, every Wednesday, there is a new full English lesson every Wednesday. <gasps> that will be with you on Wednesday, a new lesson for you to watch. So I'm going soon. I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream. I will be back with you next week. Mr. Duncan, thank you and have a good afternoon tea. Yes, Mr. Steve will be making salmon tonight. We will have fresh salmon for tea or supper or evening dinner, depending on which one you like to say. And also in a moment, we are going to have a cup of tea and a tea cake. And that's it. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you, Chris. After the live stream, I will be going to bed, says Chris. Well, I think you are in the Philippines. So because it's very late now in the Philippines, that's the reason why you are going to bed. Bye, Martha. Bye, Akinata. Bye, Chris. Bye, Kenan or Keenan. Bye also to Julie and also to Paul Joseph. Hello, Paul Joseph. Apparently, Paul is watching in Minnesota, USA. You are now watching me live in England, where the rain is about to fall on my head. Thank you very much for your company. I am going in a moment. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Mika. See you later. Of course, next week it will be my birthday approaching next weekend. My birthday is on the 12th of August. So next weekend we will be preparing to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> so you might find the next week my face will be like thunder because I won't be very happy as my birthday approaches. Thank you, Palmyra. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Tuan. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much for all of your lovely messages today. And I will see you next week. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of the English language saying thanks for watching. And can I give you all a lovely round of applause? Can I just say that you are the best viewers in the world? I love you all. And of course, you know what's coming next. Yes, you do. Until next weekend. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>